The NHL needs to really fix this, and the topic of this video comes after seeing the amazing jerseys, I love these, that the Winnipeg Jets wore for Filipino Heritage Night. Well, sort of. The NHL does a great job of cool warm-up jerseys. The Rangers had one the other day. My problem is, why are these warm-up only? Now, obviously, if these were full jerseys, the design would have to be finished. Obviously, right now, they're not on team colors, just on the black Adidas warm-up jersey, but the NHL should be encouraging, in my opinion opinion, teams to have more fun with jerseys. The reverse retro this year has been an absolute success, and I look to the NBA. Each year, the NBA has specific jerseys that are only wore once or at least a limited amount of times, for example. Teams which play on Christmas will usually have a unique Christmas Day uniform. Or at least that was the case, I'm not sure if it still is, but anyway. There's the statement jerseys, these are sort of like alternates, although I think they're probably wore a little bit more. There's the City Edition jerseys, I love these. Utah's, for example, is just so great. It allows the team to have a bit more creativity. But anyway, although I love basketball, we're talking about the NHL, and hockey teams play 82 games a year in the NHL. 41 home, 41 away. I think the best way to handle things would be to say something like, okay, let's say 25 of your home and 25 of your away games, you're wearing your standard home and away jerseys. However, sprinkled through the rest of the year, you should make Mix in your alternates, special one-off jerseys like the Filipino jersey here, reverse retros, maybe just jerseys from past seasons, whatever. And I mean, the benefits are obvious. The NHL season is long. Anything that can help spice it up in the middle of the year, I think really helps. Plus, jersey sales. And for markets which are struggling at the gate, say for example Arizona pre-move, you can build a night around a specific theme and really go for it. I don't think the NHL is as bad as the NFL, the no fun league when it comes to taking itself seriously, but I do think fun should be encouraged. And I think there's a real opportunity here, even if you're only adding maybe one or two new jerseys into rotation a year. I understand the counter argument is that reverse retros mean less. If there's more jerseys in rotation, but you can still have them be super prominent by playing with them more times a year and doing what the NBA does with their signature jerseys by keeping them in rotation for a while. Anyway, agree, disagree, let me know down below.